Okay, the uh, chair has uh, had a request from Marty Seifer to address the convention. Marty? Thank you. First of all, I want to thank all of you for the immense amount of time that was put in this weekend. We had to wait a little bit for the Senate race, obviously, and judicial and other things going on. We are blessed to be in the most beautiful state, in the most beautiful country on the face of the earth. The United States of America has blessed me and my family to seek this opportunity to run for governor of Minnesota twice now. I think everyone here agrees that we need to listen to the grassroots. We need to listen to the activists who trudge through snow in February to cast their votes and to make decisions for our party. As I've gone around tonight, we have some fantastic candidates. We have a 100% awesome convention. And I want you to congratulate yourself for that. I want to let you know that as I decided to run for governor and we were building the cancer center and I waited probably too long to announce and I get that, that a lot of people made determinations and a lot of people made decisions and I respect that, that decisions were made. And as we worked extremely hard in the short amount of time we had, the grassroots in February said, Marty Seifert, it's our top choice. Four years ago, in an eight-way race, the grassroots who trudged to the caucus rooms in 2010 by an outright majority in an eight-way race said, Marty Seifert is our choice. Now when I got into the race today, and when I got into the race in November, everyone in this room knows that I was not triggering a primary. We had two other gentlemen trigger a primary before I ever got in the race. And everyone in the room knows that. And they're good men. And Dave Thompson, Jeff Johnson, and Rob Farnsworth are good men. And we ought to appreciate that. So as I look at respecting the grassroots, when two cycles in a row now the grassroots have said Marty Seifert's our top choice for governor, as I walk around the convention floor and I now see delegations that are either entirely empty, half full, two-thirds empty, particularly in rural Minnesota where they've got to get back for church or baptisms or funerals or weddings, and I look at the quorum count go down now where we got probably four to five hundred people who are not here. I want to respect your time because it's precious and you sat here last night and you endorsed someone who said they were going to the primary anyway. And I respect that in endorsing Mike McFadden because he is a gentleman. And all the other candidates that ran for the U.S. Senate are fantastic candidates as well and we ought to respect them for what they decided to do. <laughs> knowing all of this, knowing all of this, instead of dragging things out, taking your time, keeping you here, making you rent another hotel room for another night because you spent a lot of time and money already and God bless you for doing it, I am going to decide that my delegates can be released to go home and go get your sleep. I know some of you have six or eight hour drives and we have people particularly in seven and eight who have left already and we've got hundreds and hundreds of people that either couldn't come or decided to leave early and I want to respect that. So as if you hand out another ballot, that's fine, but I'm realizing that we have a lot of people who have left and who are leaving. And so for the rest of you who are here, I want to respect you for that and not drag this out any longer than it needs to be. I have told you all along I have been open-minded to a primary. 
knowing that Kurt Zellers and Scott Honor are going to a primary anyway, and I know this upsets a lot of people, I, am, I have decided I am going to head to the primary to be one more person in the primary with the other two. As, as my people, as my people decide that they have to go home like the rest of you, I realize that it's going to be very difficult for you to have enough people. But I respect the process enough to know that my people are released to do what you want to do. If you want to stay and vote, I respect that. And if you do not want to stay, that's fine. But I do respect the fact that you do not want to sit here all night. And with that, God, thank you, God bless you, and God bless the great state of Minnesota.